everyone, it's Miss Crystal from Way Public Library and I'm here today to do a preschool story time. Now today's rhymes and books are all going to be about little fuzzy fluffy sheep. So before we get to this first book, we're going to do our opening song. Remember this one's if you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. So we're going to clap our hands. During the second verse, we're going to stamp our feet. During the third verse, we'll shout hooray. So let's get started. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, stamp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, stamp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, stamp your feet. One last verse. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! Okay. Now that we've done that song, we've gotten some moves out. Let's start with our books. This first one is called Tin Sleepy Sheep. It was written by Phyllis Root and illustrated by Susan Gaber. Time to sleep, call the mama sheep in the grass knee deep. But tin little sheep don't want to sleep. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little sheep. Ten. Ten little sheep leap the cucumber vine. Long grass bends, spider mends. Sleep, sheep. Now there are. If one falls asleep, how many are left? Nine. Nine sheep race past the tall green gate. The wind sighs, the whippoorwill cries. Sleep, sheep. Now there are eight. Eight sheep romp by the rose of heaven. Blossoms close, ducklings doze. Sleep, sheep. Now there are Seven. Seven sheep crash through a stack of sticks. The mouse explores, the old dog snores. Sleep, sheep. Now there are six. Six sheep roam by the old beehive. Bees hum, crickets strum. Sleep, sheep. Now there are five. Five sheep scoop past the red barn door. Swallows swoop, barn owls whoop. Sleep, sheep. Now there are four. Four sheep amble by the apple tree. Fireflies blink, first stars wink. Sleep, sheep. Now there are three. Three sheep splash past the blue canoe. Cattails swish, herons fish. Sleep, sheep. Now there are two. Two sheep lope by the rabbit run. Kitten stirs, a gray cat purrs. Sleep, sheep. Now there is one. One sheep bleats. Mama, I can't sleep. Hush, says your mama, have you tried counting sheep? One by the vine, one by the gate, one by the rose, one by the sticks, one by the hive, one by the door, one by the tree, one by the canoe, one by the rabbit run. And one sheep in the grass knee deep, nestled by her mama, fast asleep. The end. So we got to count the sheep, and then the last little sheep also counted all of the other sheep friends. So now that all the sheep are asleep, we're gonna do another book. This one, we're also going to count sheep. And we're gonna count the sheep from one to 10. 
but this book is in Spanish and in English. So I'm going to read to you the Spanish and then I'll tell you what the English words are too. So this book is called Counting Ovejas, words by Sarah Weeks, art by David Diaz. So do you guys know, Do can you guys guess what an ovejas is? This, that is the Spanish word for sheep. So we're going to count sheep. Okay. Buenos noches. Good night. Pits, pits, pits. Tick, tick, tick. Are they having trouble sleeping? Yep, all those noises. Uno, oveja blanca. One white sheep. Adios, oveja blanca. Goodbye, white sheep. Dos ovejas morones. Two brown sheep. Adios, ovejas morones. Goodbye, brown sheep. Tres ovejas negras, three black sheep. Adios, ovejas negras. Goodbye, black sheep. Cuatro ovejas rosas, four pink sheep. Adios, ovejas rosas. Goodbye, pink sheep. Cinco ovejas verdes. Five green sheep. Adios, ovejas verdes. Goodbye, green sheep. Can we wave goodbye as the rest of them go by? Six ovejas rojas. Six red sheep. Adios, ovejas rojas. Goodbye, red sheep. Goodbye. Siete ovejas turquesas. Seven turquoise sheep. Adios, ovejas turquesas. Goodbye, turquoise sheep. Ocho, ovejas violetas. Eight, violet sheep. Adios, ovejas violetas. Goodbye, violet sheep. Nuevas, ovejas azules. Nine, blue sheep. Adios, ovejas azules. Goodbye, blue sheep. Diaz ovejas amarillas, 10 yellow sheep. Adios ovejas amarillas, goodbye yellow sheep. Gracias ovejas, thank you sheep. Buenas noches, good night. El fin, which means the end. Was that fun learning a little bit of Spanish? I thought it was a little bit of fun. There was a lot of hello and goodbye, which is easy to learn. So since that book was a little short, we're gonna do another short one before we move on to a rhyme. This one's a funny one called Where is the Green Sheep? by Mem Fox and Jody Horace. Here is the blue sheep. And here is the red sheep. Here is the bath sheep. And here is the bed sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the thin sheep. And here is the wide sheep. Here is the swing sheep. And here's the slide sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the up sheep. And here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. And here is the clown sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the sun sheep. And here is the rain sheep. Here is the car sheep. And here is the train sheep. 
But where is the green sheep? Here's the wind sheep and here is the wave sheep. Here's the scared sheep and here is the brave sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here's the near sheep and here's the far sheep. Here's the moon sheep and here's the star sheep. But where is the green sheep? Oh, can we see them anywhere on these pages? No. Oh, see a lot of other sheep doing things, but they don't see a green sheep. Where is that green sheep? Turn the page quietly. Let's take a peek. Shh. Here's our green sheep fast asleep. The end. Okay, you guys have done so good with those three books. We're gonna do a rhyme, and then we'll do one more book before we talk about the craft. Okay. This book is called Dancing Sheep. So do you think we're gonna dance? I think we might. Okay, shh. Time to go to sleep, but into my bedroom one sheep creeps. Don't go to bed, the one sheep said. I would rather dance instead. Soon he was dancing on the ceiling. He was dancing on the floor. He was dancing out the window. He was dancing on the door. He kept on dancing on the ceiling. He was dancing on the floor. He was dancing on the window. He was dancing on the door. Dancing on the ceiling, dancing on the floor. Dancing on the window, dancing on the door. He was dancing on the ceiling, dancing on the floor. Dancing on the window, dancing on the door. Stop that dancing, silly sheep. It is time to go to sleep. Soon the sheep lay on the floor. Soon the sheep began to snore. So I started dancing on the ceiling, dancing on the floor, dancing on the window, dancing on the floor. I was dancing on the ceiling, I was dancing on the floor, I was dancing on the window, I was dancing on the door. The end. Whew, I think I'm a little sweaty now. After all that dancing, I might have to take a nap. So let's read one more book. This one is called One More Sheep by Mij Kelly and Russell Ato. On a wild windy night in a fierce thunderstorm, Sam brought home his sheep and tucked them up warm. Wooly socks on their feet, woolly hats on their heads. They were all safe and snug in their big cozy bed. It has to be a big bed, doesn't it? Now Sam owned 10 sheep and he had to be sure that he brought them all in from the wet windy moor where the hungry wolf growls and the hungry wolf prowls. And on wild windy nights, the hungry wolf howls. Can you howl like a wolf? Ow! Sam just had to know they were all safe in bed. And the one way to know was to count each mutton head. He counted out loud, one, two, Three, four. That's as far as he got before he started to snore. He always does that. It's not that hard to count sheep. Is there something about us that puts him to sleep? I think that he finds us terribly boring. How rude, how uncouth. And now he is snoring. Out on the moor, the wind whistled and weathered, while the sheep safe indoors snuggled under the covers, drifting through dreams until a loud rat-a-tat-tat woke them all up. Who is there? What is that? Sam ran to the stairs and threw open the door. 
Well, bless my pajamas, it's one sheet more. Don't stand there shivering, come inside, come get warm. What a fool I've been to leave you out in this storm. Uh-oh, he thinks he left a sheep out. Is that a sheep, though? Well, what do you think it is? Stop it right there, Sam, you silly man. You've got the brains of a watering can. How do you know he's one of your sheep? You didn't count us, you fell fast asleep. Sam said don't mess around, remember who's boss. Let the precious lambkin in before I get cross. But first you should count us. Yes, that's a plan. Do you think that he'll do it? I don't know if he can. Well, Sam could count fingers and Sam could count toes, but he couldn't count the sheep right in front of his nose. He thought and he wondered just what could he say. He couldn't tell them nicely, but he told them anyway. It's a well-known fact that when people count sheep, it tires us out and puts us to sleep. You're not at all interesting. You're not at all odd. You're a first class ticket to the land of Nod. Well, thanks very much. How ill-mannered. How rude. You've got an appalling attitude. But boy or not, the sheep could sense danger. They did not want Sam to let in the stranger. He's got to count us for goodness sake. But how are we going to keep him awake? We've got to surprise him. We need a new trick. One thing's for certain, we have to work quick. Get in a line, we'll put on a show. Do you think it'll work? I don't know, but here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sam cried, can this be then? Huh. Oh no, it's the wolf. And he quickly slammed the door shut again. After all that fuss and fluster, Sam couldn't get to sleep. So he settled down and closed his eyes and counted his boring sheep. The end. Good job, guys. We counted a whole bunch of sheep, didn't we? We had one through 10, and then we went backwards and we went forwards, and we had sheep of all different colors. We had the brown sheep and the verde sheep. Remember what color that was? Green. All those colors and all that counting. So the last thing to do is to tell you about your craft which you can pick up at the library until Wednesday, May 12th. So you're going to have this little guy, got a little white circle and you get to glue on the legs, glue on the head and the ears and the eyes, and you can color the eyes in. And you've got some little woolly cotton balls that you can spread out and put on your sheep and make him all fluffy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that story time and that you get to take home your pieces to make this cute little craft and enjoy that too. So thank you guys for joining me and I will see you again soon. Bye everyone!